So my mom obsesses over different things on a daily basis. Today it was a kitten in the garage. Yeah, true. Two? It's so true. I hear oh, noises. True. And Frankie heard it too. So my mom has been fairly open to improving dietary changes. Granted, I spend the money on the food. So this is true. she usually has scrambled eggs every morning. Uh, so, I'll show you, so I'll show you guys how to prepare them. This is a really delicious, simple, high quality scrambled egg recipe with not too many ingredients. So we're gonna put the pan on a medium heat. Here I have some eggs from a local farm, corn and soy free. You know, if you're stuck going to the supermarket, you can go organic omega-3 eggs, but then it really depends on how sensitive you are to inflammatory factors in your diet and lifestyle if you can tolerate eggs. You know, even someone like myself, who's very sensitive, can't even tolerate these eggs from the farm. So, you know, see how you respond to eating eggs in general and, and go from there. The farm eggs are going to be higher in omega-3, lower in omega-6, and really just higher in nutrients in general and have a more balanced profile. They're free of most agrochemicals. You don't have the estrogens and endocrine inhibitors and negative things that are found in conventional animal products. You know, a lot of these white eggs from the supermarket are like mini estrogen bombs that are destroying the average person's health. Put a little pinch of salt in the eggs. Here I have some Kerrygold butter, and my mom likes this softer butter because they refuse to leave the butter out of the fridge. I actually forgot to buy raw butter from a local farm, but the Kerrygold will do for now. We're not using that much butter in the recipe. And the main thing we're trying to do here is, is remove the negatives, not necessarily have a super crazy high nutrient content. I have two cheeses here today. One is Parmigiano Reggiano, one is Grana Padano. We have both of these on Frankie's Strange Meat. The Parmigiano is a bit more concentrated, a bit saltier. You can try either one. I'm gonna use the Grana Padano because it's a bit older. Raw cheese is super, super nutritious. You know, it has all the fat soluble vitamins for the most part, a lot of water soluble vitamins, protein, fats, really everything your body needs. The only thing cheese is missing is preformed omega-3 fatty acids. It even has a lot of K2. I like using the microplane here uh, because I don't really want to add too much cheese to these eggs. Otherwise, you know, the eggs will taste just like cheese and my mom doesn't really like that. So that should be enough. Me personally, I love eating, you know, six eggs with like half a pound of cheese in them. So there's certainly an array of dairy products that you can put in your eggs. You know, cream, milk, creme fraiche, sour cream. That all each add their individual flavor profile. You know, I like having my eggs with some smoked salmon or salmon roe. Uh, my family really doesn't like salmon, but that would be a good way to, you know, balance the omega-6 in the eggs to have a little bit of salmon with it. You know, I'm not doing like a 20-minute Gordon Ramsay scrambled egg here. Relatively soft, medium heat, and there we go. You didn't put anything weird in here, right? Just a little bit of Parmigiano. Uh-oh. Mm, delicious. So normally you have them with the kidney medication, right? You have all your medications with breakfast? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so for those of you guys who haven't seen some past videos with my mom, she had uh, a, lot of, a lot of medical issues and medical problems, so she does have to take uh, a bunch of pills and stuff. But the, the healthier diet is helping. She stopped taking the proton pump inhibitors. And, uh, no and, more and blood is, pressure medicine. No more blood pressure medication either. After 30 years. So do you feel full on two eggs? Unlike Gina, who can eat, probably, I do. Gina can eat yeah, three dozen eggs. I do feel full. Thank you for breakfast. So we're gonna see lunch next, or you can have a snack in between. No, just lunch. So I bought all this organic lettuce and romaine and nice stuff for a salad, and guess what? My mom changed her mind. She doesn't want a salad. <laughs> all right, I'll have the salad. No, I don't think she. She just wants <laughs> some prosciutto and cheese for lunch. Yes. And she doesn't like the cheese I bought her, so we're gonna. Give her some Parmigiano Reggiano instead with yes. prosciutto. You know, so I bought all this organic lettuce, organic romaine. I was gonna do a nice vinaigrette with some fresh lemon and organic olive oil. I don't have it. Well, you don't even want it anymore. All right, make it. It's fine. She's saying make it now, but she's not gonna eat it. So no, no, we're just gonna give her the prosciutto and Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. You know, it's prosciutto and parmigiano, the two highest quality, you know, meats and cheeses you can get. No, you, you know, you can go to a local farm. Iberico would be a much higher quality meat. And you get a bunch of raw Swiss, raw French cheeses that are just as good, if not better, than parmigiano. So we're just going to slice this up and put it on a plate. So this is really simple, just prosciutto, San Daniel, and some parmigiano reggiano. A lot of B vitamins, just any nutrients that are really from animal foods. Very high in histamine, very high in sodium, so... 
Uh, some of you guys might not respond too well to this meal, but uh, she doesn't seem to have an issue with it. Maybe try some, uh, you know, copper supplements with the meal. And uh, you might get really, really thirsty. And if you find yourself having to drink like a gallon of water after this meal, then it's uh, definitely not for you. The prosciutto is her favorite. Thank you. For dinner, I'm making mom two of her favorite things, steak and zucchini. And honestly, she has some variation of this usually several nights per week. You know, maybe saute zucchini with some type of beef in the oven. We're going to add some salt to the steak. Just season it, you know, about an hour or two before we cook it. And that can sit there. For the zucchini, what I want to do is, you know, slice it thin so we can put it on the grill easily. Not too thin, otherwise it'll, you know, fall through the grill. We'll drizzle that with some olive oil, salt, honey, and lemon juice. All the produce, everything here is organic, so it's free of, you know, the negative chemicals and pollutants that we don't want. So I'm just going to take the labels off the zucchini. I'm not going to peel it, you know, if my mother's eating lettuce conventional every day then we're not, we're not too worried about the, the peels of organic zucchini i will wipe the dirt off of it though with a, a rag and what i like doing is having you know 50 100 200 just kitchen rags that i keep going through and washing instead of paper towels so both ends off and i think i'll just do these in half you know, zucchini is a very soft high water vegetable so if you put this on the grill, better off being on the safe side and cutting it thick. And I usually cook enough for, you know, several days worth. You know, I'm not just going to fire up the grill to cook one zucchini. You know, so she can have this for side dish for dinner for three or four days and just cook a fresh protein. If we don't get eaten by ants because of all the zucchini I'm dropping on the floor. Nice amount of salt on the vegetables. And usually when I, when I cook vegetables, I put a lot more salt on them than meat because... You know, vegetables have a higher potassium content. They also need more seasoning. And put a bit of honey on each one. It would be a lot easier if you had like a liquid honey, but this has started to crystallize. I mean, you can add honey and salt to pretty much everything. Sweet and salty. Helps any dish. I'm using olive oil for the cooking fat today. Normally, I would use an animal fat. But my mom's not as strict with her diet, so. I mean, you might be able to throw these on the grill without any oil or fat or anything, but... They're not going to get that caramelized flavor you want. And the lemon juice, we'll actually put this on after we cook it. This is going to sit for, you know, an hour or two. You know, what I'll actually do here is, you know, since she is putting olive oil on the zucchini, I'll just put a tiny bit on the steak just to, uh, to flare it up a little bit easier when we go to cook it. Again, you know, butter, animal fat is better, but, you know, since I have this out and it's a liquid and it's easier to pour, We'll just do a little bit for now. You know, keep in mind, guys, you know, when you're cooking for your family and they go to McDonald's once a week, well, my mother doesn't go to McDonald's once a week, but, you know, when the family doesn't stay strictly on a high-quality diet, you know, there's definitely a bit of leeway. You know, organic olive oil is better than a lot of the other stuff she eats, so we don't have to go 100% full healthy every time. So, Ma, you didn't listen to me as usual. You had some pretzels for a snack? I did. Where are the pretzels? Show them what they are. Organic pretzels that my son buys me. This son, Frank. So again, anything that's grain-based is not ideal, but at least it's not completely sprayed with glyphosate, herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, all the crap they usually spray on the regular beet that's used to make this stuff. So uh, they have this in Whole Foods, um, and you guys can check out this stuff. Again, it's it's more for you know family members that just want a healthier version of the food they like. So we got everything nice and set up. Our zucchini that's been marinating in a couple hours. Steak that's had the salt on it a couple hours. This is just a regular gas grill that I put some cherry wood in after I took out the heat distributing plates. So if you guys want to see how I did that, I think there is a video on my channel from sometime last year. So we're just going to grill the steak first. You know, since it's relatively thin in room temperature, we don't have to you know, put it in the oven or anything. And whenever you're grilling something, if the outside is getting too dark or too burned, you know, just take it out, put it in a pan, finish it in the oven. That's what we might do for the zucchini. Since this is a ribeye, it should be fatty enough that we don't really have to baste it with fat to get a crust. Steak's nice and caramelized. Take it off. And now we're going to put the zucchini on. You know what I would have actually done in hindsight? I would have taken an oven rack put the zucchini on the oven rack on this sheet pan and then I would have taken that whole oven rack off the sheet pan put it on the grill let the zucchini brown on that side put it back on the sheet pan finish it in the oven I think that would save you a lot of time and as long as you get color on one side of the zucchini you're still getting that grilled flavor 
Uh, I mean, the heat distribution isn't perfectly even, but what we'll do when we flip these back over is we'll turn them the other way too. So, you know, we'll turn it like this when we flip it and that should help even out the color. So we flip the zucchini over again. I'm gonna pour some of the oil on the flame just to flare it up a bit. And this is probably the best way to cook any vegetable, really. Uh, marinate it beforehand, throw it on the grill, get a nice flavor on the outside. The only difference is some vegetables like eggplant or, or depending on what you're cooking, require a much longer marinade or even a fermentation to reduce the anti-nutrient content. And the purpose of something like zucchini is, you know, it's bulk, it's fiber, it's hydration, feeds your gut bacteria, it's something nice to have. Now, not something super nutritious, but it definitely contributes something. All right, zucchini is a little char on the back, but that's fine. You can just take the skin off. So that's the charred zucchini. Looks great, smells even better. I'm gonna pop this in the oven at, you know, 300 for maybe 20 minutes. I think some of the thicker pieces are a little undercooked on the inside. Just put the organic lemons on top, a little bit of lemon juice. As you can see, this is fresh off the grill. My son spoils me. Three meals today. He's a keeper, girls. I used to cook a lot more before I started getting uh, really busy with, uh, with everything, but this is pretty much what I used to cook for her every day. The eggs for breakfast, something for lunch, and then she had some of my steak for dinner and then a side dish. You want to cook a little more? So we'll, we'll throw this back in the oven for a few minutes. So I usually err on the safe side when I'm cooking steak. I'd rather undercook it like that than overcook it. So now all I have to do is pop it in the oven a few minutes on broil and it'll be done in the middle. You have sound effects. <laughs> yeah, it's sizzling. <laughs> it's a little hot. It's sizzling. That's how we used to serve the steaks in the steakhouse on the really, really hot plate. So what we did was we just threw the steak back in the oven. <laughs> it's a little hot. We threw the steak back in the oven on yeah, high broil perfect. for five minutes and, and it came out nice and hot. And this is how I would actually serve a steak if it was in a restaurant, just, just hot right off the boiler. You don't have to let it rest at all. Well, actually, you would carve it for me, wouldn't you now? No, they don't do that at Delphi No. So she's going to have the steak with the zucchini for dinner and perfect this is. You can't really see it's focused on your face, it's fine. Okay. It's pinkish red in the middle, this is a medium rare. It's like the way most people like it, medium rare. So from, from a nutrient perspective, this is you know mostly B vitamins, protein. Uh, the meal earlier with the eggs and, and the cheese for breakfast, that was more fat soluble vitamin oriented, omega-3s, EPA, DHA, and the pretzel she had as a snack, probably just wanting to feed her gut bacteria and who knows what else she ate when I wasn't looking. We don't want to know. <laughs> so I would love to sit here and watch her eat, but we would all turn to about 110 years old because you guys don't know, my mother literally takes about an hour and a half to eat like a plate of food like this. You know, taking very, very tiny bites and, uh, and taking her time eating. So we'll see you guys uh, probably for a snack. And that'll wrap up the day. Thank you. Guess what? I'm still eating. It's so good. Delicious. Thank you. I spend hundreds of dollars at Whole Foods every week buying organic food and she's eating pizza. Local crappy pizza. Only the crust. Hey, it's another one of my trees. This is fresh cream from the farm. Yeah, we got raw grass-fed cream uh, from the local Amish farm. Oh, this is the smell of it. That's the vanilla bean that they have at Whole Foods. See? And then it's... It's actual bean grinded. Some honey. And here is organic raw honey. And it's so special that I get all these treats. Thank you. So this is pretty close to ice cream. The only thing it's really missing is egg yolks and being frozen. But, you know, it's a lot quicker and easier to prepare. And uh, it's really, really, really tasty and approachable. I'm show you how thick this is and creamy. Look at the consistency. Cannot get fresher than that. Yeah, it's like double cream from the certain breeds of cows they have in New York and the high quality grass. It's just like velvet. 
And this is also really, really calorically dense. Uh, and even just two, three tablespoons of that is going to be, you know, four or five hundred calories with the honey. Maybe I should. <laughs> and you don't really need to put a lot of honey in there; just a little bit, and it's uh, it's nice and sweet. But this is fat-based dairy, so it, it's mostly fats, soluble vitamins. So you have a lot of vitamin A, you know, a tiny amount of vitamin K2, maybe even some vitamin D3. A lot of calcium, some minerals, but it's really just a lot of fat calories. Uh, when you have the heavy cream and you remove the the water part, you're removing the water soluble vitamins and a lot of the nutrients. Still very good for you though. It's perfect. It's so creamy and sweet with the vanilla and the honey. Thank you very much. All right, that's gonna be it, guys. If you have any questions about what you ate or you'd like to know a little more. Leave me a comment down below, and uh, you guys know how to support me down in the description. I'll see you for tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.